these stories are ultra important, right? That delivery drivers, Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Bolt drivers, whoever you are, gig drivers, gig workers, share your stories, your experiences, good or bad, right? Good or bad. We want to hear everything with the media. Now, Uber Eats driver says he only made a profit of 37 cents during a four hour shift because filling up his gas tank cost about the same as his earnings. Okay, so let's work this out. He made 37 cents. This, by the way, is 50 cents, right? So subtract 13 cents from this. This is what the guy made in, in four hours. Not even this much, right? This is 50 cents, right? So 13 cents less than this. Divided by 37 divided by four, right? Um, the guy made about a whopping, it's big money, big, big cash here nine cents per hour right and that story has been told because guess what that story connects with the public hey no i didn't earn nine dollars per hour i earned nine cents per hour the public go what what <coughs> crazy keep on talking i am all ears let's find out how this guy earned nine cents for a quattro for a four hour shift. Here we go. So you got that little sign. And by the way, I did not see any Uber Eats delivery drivers in Europe. Not one single one used their car. They were all using little scooters, mopeds, Vespas, bicycles. Why? Because the gas prices are astronomic. You're not really making money driving around in your guzzler delivering food right so uber eats driver in texas says his four hour shift netted him a profit of only 37 37 cents by the way this is 50 cents so 30 13 cents less than that he said he made 30 dollars and 97 cents after eight deliveries eight deliveries he made 30 bucks and 97 cents right that is not even four dollars a delivery including the tips that had to pay 30 dollars and 60 cents for a gas for a tank of gas at the end. The second shift was my final one, right? So listen, when you're out there and you're hustling for, you know, for four hours, for, for, for four times six, what is that, 240 minutes, you're grinding away four hours, right? Almost half a day. And you make 30 bucks and 97, right? You look on your app, oh shit, I made $30.97. And then you realize you've been driving around all day and you've got to go and fill up the car for $30.60. Well, that difference, the 37 cents, less, less than this, right, is what he made. Obviously, that's the last time you ever drive. Because do you really want to experience that feeling a second time, right? Do you want to go out maybe tomorrow or next week and do an eight-hour shift and make 94 cents? Nah. You, you know, you fool me once ain't gonna fool me again, right? So, so this probably was his worst day, but it was also the day that, where he made a big decision, right? This Texas Uber Eats driver ain't gonna be delivering food for Uber Eats anymore. And the same formula goes for hundreds of thousands of Uber Eats drivers, right? That are gonna be stopping in the next few months because of the sheer greed the greed, taking from the restaurants, taking from the consumer, not taking care of the food delivery driver, right? So this Uber Eats driver said he made a profit of only 37 cents during a four hour shift. The driver who requested to be identified using only his Reddit username, A-A-A-S-K-H-I-C, ass kick, and posted details on Monday about the money he made from his shift. He, he doesn't want to be retaliated against. He doesn't want his name out there because that probably would deactivate him. The driver told Insider he usually works in a tutoring center but decided to pick up some Uber Eats shifts in East Texas while he was off work for a couple of weeks. The shift he wrote about in the Reddit post was his second shift, which he carried out on Saturday evening, according to the driver. You should be making money on a Saturday evening. He made $30.97 from eight deliveries during four hours of driving, according to documentation seen by Insider. Three out of eight of the customers gave him tips. 
he wrote in the post, tip money came to $7.89. Shame on you, people ordering the food. Out of all those eight deliveries, he only made $7.89. So shame on you, people who are ordering food from Uber Eats or from DoorDash or from Grubhub Divers or from Postmates. Pay these people accordingly, right? They're doing a big service. They're doing a massive job for you. When the driver filled up his tank at the end of his shift, I, I, I'd want to see that invoice, obviously. You know, that little receipt, it cost him $30, 60 according. Oh, he got the receipt from a gas station, so he did show the proof, which was viewed by Insider. Per the documentation, that meant he only earned this much less 13 cents from the work on a Saturday night evening. On a Saturday night evening, I would rather go clubbing. I would rather go to movies or out with my family and spend money in those four hours versus earning this shit here, right? The second shift was my final one. He said, I won't be doing it anymore. Uber told inside in a statement while earnings, oh yeah, oh, this is how they respond. Listen, okay, we get a response. We finally get a response from Uber. What did they say? So here we go. Uber told inside and said, while earnings can vary based on demand and other factors, the experience described here is not typical, but it's real and it's becoming more typical, Dara, right? Thousands of people choose to partner with Uber Eats to earn extra money flexibly. The driver told Insider that his first Uber Eats shift, he earned a similar amount to his second shift. Listen but was tipped $16 on his last delivery, which gave him hope to try it again the next day. So it, it's really the tippers, the, the consumers that can make or break you because you are making shit, nothing, right? When you look at the numbers at the end of the day after a five hour shift, <coughs> scary, scary numbers because they're not numbers. It's sense, it's, it's change, it's change, right? So $16 tip, I'd say, oh, you know what? Maybe there's someone who's going to give me a 50 buck tip or another $5 tip. So you're really chasing the tips. You're not chasing those little baby, minute little $1.50 and $2 little 50s payments. Which add up to shit. They don't make money, right? You're actually chasing the tips. I hope maybe some other people can save their time and money not falling for Uber Eats. Good point there, my friend. Since Monday, the Reddit post that he had published, see how powerful... Social medias on rant, anti-work has received more than 19,000 upvotes and more than 1,500 comments. Uber says on its website that driver's earnings are calculated by the pickup fee, drop-off fee, and the total distance in between the restaurant and consumer. Well, guess what? Your pickup fee, your drop-off fee, and the total distance between the restaurant and customer is just pure rape. That's what you're doing, Derek. You're just raping all of them, and at the end of the day, this is what, you didn't even leave this for the Texas driver. And, and come on my show, dear Texas driver. I don't know your name, right? You don't have to reveal your name, but come on the show. Uh, when gas prices began to soar in March, Uber said it would charge customers between 35 to 55 cents for deliveries or rides to help them out. Um, however, six Uber drivers told Insider the fee isn't enough to cover rise, rising gasoline prices. Over the past Weak average U.S. gas prices have dropped below $4 a gallon. Still haven't dropped enough, by the way, for the first time since March. Gas Buddy said the average national gas price on Tuesday was $3.95 a gallon, according to the AAA. Look, the gas price is going to have to come down a lot. Inflation has to gonna come down a lot. Uber Eats and Uber and all the other gig companies are going to have to step it up. They're going to have to charge the riders realistic fares. They're going to have to really downsize their super for, supersonic uh, Tony Zoo $400 million salary. Uh, uh, Derek Oshawi, $42 million salary. That's where you need to make the adjustments. Because if you're not going to keep the drivers happy, if you're not going to keep, um, you know, if, if you're not going to increase your earnings per hour from $0.09 cents to at least $15, $20, $25, dollars, you're doomed. You're done. Right? So good advice here, Dara. Good advice, Tony Zoo. Good advice, CEO of DoorDash and, and, and Grubhub, whoever you guys are. Step it up. Pull your damn head, heads out of your asses. Listen. Use these devices here. Listen to the drivers and actually start doing something constructive, right? Instead of 
spending your money on yachts and 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 homes all around the world and 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 and, and uh cruising on all these wonderful vacations while your drivers and delivery drivers are suffering please stay safe my friends share your stories